Everybody, it's Danny Danny, and we are back with more Life is Strange. Uh, we just broke into the swimming pool and are gonna go play with Chloe. Do I don't know what, so let's figure it out. Boys or girls? Uh, we're girls. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Uh, where does that other sock go? The laundry. The dryer eats socks, sends it to a whole other dimension. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. <laughs> Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Nope, nope. Wrong button. I'm so bad about wrong buttons. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. <laughs> Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Victoria Chase rolls. Okay. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own s Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. <laughs> so do I. Hit that light. Ah, oh, fine. Make me do everything. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Is this the boys? Yes, the boys' locker room. Sometimes. No worries, it's all bad. <laughs> what was that? Boys' locker room? Oh, right. brother. <laughs> I guess I should consider this evolution. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. No way am I touching Zack's jersey. Zack is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? <laughs> because he likes you. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? No, just say no. This must be for training kids.
Dan needs a baby daddy. Oh my goodness. If I were the pool lights, where would I be? Can I just jump in the water? Whee! Nope. It won't let me go. Alright, well, um... There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Yes, we get it. Otters. <laughs> Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Okay, those are the switches. I'm gonna look around here for just a second. See if there's anything else I can look at, because I'm the ever so curious person. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> Cute. Alright. Time to do or dive, Max. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Dare. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know <laughs> about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. True enough. Is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Um... Thank God. But... What if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Sure. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More Ugh. than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Um... 
He's nice, I guess. Lauren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Good. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Uh-oh. Hide! Go, go, go. We have to go now. Are you shitting me? Dude, hide! Uh -oh. Like when we were kids. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? I'm still gonna get busted in here. Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. your dorm now you're a blackwell fugitive crash at my place tonight you want me to crash where the blackwell security officer lives so i'll be safe uh, okay into the car Oh man, that was fun.
Sure. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be moshing today. What did Warren say? I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, can't back out now. <laughs> nice. I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. I tried to hide in the closet. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Cute. I love this song. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. <laughs> I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. That's nice. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. That's okay. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. <laughs> I think that's any father's um, fear of their little girl. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. 
She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Huh? I don't <laughs> dare you. Kiss okay. Me <laughs> Interesting. Sure. Okay, whatever. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. <laughs> Now you can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, wow. This isn't a girl on girl action. You're such a dork. Mm. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. That was awesome. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Jeez. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. That's sweet. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Hmm. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? Okay. No problem. Can do. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Uh, where would they be? Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Uh... Ah. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. And milk? I love that they still have the same no. refrigerator. Where's the milk? Huh. Now for the mother's milk. I've been on a big pancake kick lately. I love Thanks. them. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. 
<laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. To the table. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Who drinks beer this early around here? Pancakes. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. So what are you guys, a creamy or a crunchy peanut butter person? Let me know. I like creamy. Kate's life was sure worth oh. a nice exploitive headline. Okay. Um seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And That's sad. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Yep. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. <laughs> Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can Goodness. even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. <laughs> I need more clues. Clues. Nothing to see here. Oh, I gotta be sneaky and smart and all that stuff. Doohoo! 
Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Let's try that. Nope. Okay. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Let's try that. <sighs> try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nothing in it. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Okay, there's two more things to try. Let's give it a go. Magic 8-Ball says no. <sighs> Worst hacker ever. No <sighs> hacks. Here we go again. Come on. Okay, this is gonna get a little annoying. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Oh, dang it. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Score. Yes. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Wow. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Make it look like we never touched the computer at all. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. 
What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Okay, yeah, whatever. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh -oh. Um. Sorry, I'm on Chloe's side. That guy's a jerk. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't <laughs> kick me out of my own home. Bye. It's my home, David, <laughs> paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I'm not talking to him. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Fine. Can we go now? Oh, I guess I'm just going by myself. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends <laughs> right no way max she was just posing to tease frank if you're not gonna believe me why don't we check out what frank has in his rv what's that gonna prove frank has rachel's bracelet what else does he have in there motherfucker better not have anything for his sake let's check the door frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it <laughs> I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let oh, get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Um. Oh, dang it.
Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Yep. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Okay, bye. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that. Boy, he needs to you. look himself Brad, in the mirror. To check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. So do I have to talk? Oh, let's talk to the cop first. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. <laughs> Awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. I go back a little bit. Whee! Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? <laughs> Do you? Yeah, uh, whatever. Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit. What do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. 
Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. I will. How about that? How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys did. Come I'm on. I'm glad you're representing. Come on. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. Mm. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. And he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay, guys, we're gonna get the key tomorrow. See you later. Bye.